right, folks, it's time for racing. Actually, I want to start yelling, it's time for green flag racing. <laughs> Dan Dyker, Al Dosi with you. The Seven Rivers Racing Show here in KQEG brought to you by Lost Lake Beer, Holman American Legion, Kerry Heating and Air Conditioning, and the West Salem Pharmacy. We are just about a week and a half and some change out from the La Crosse Fairground Speedway opening weekend of Media Day and their first practice session. And folks are starting to really start chopping at the bit. They are. I know we're getting the uh, uh, last nuts and bolts tightened up on our car. And I know from talking to other drivers and teams, uh, they're really getting things squared away with their equipment also. And our guest today just finally got his yard cleaned out, driveway cleaned out, side of his yard cleaned out, maybe even some of his garage. And we're going to talk to him uh, coming up in the program today. I want to thank you for joining us one more time. Um, you're at SPOT for in-depth coverage of the Lacrosse Fairground Speedway, Excalibur Speedway, the Dells Speedway in Wisconsin Dells, and dirt track racing up in Triple. As a matter of fact, I got an email uh, from a driver and his son that dirt track race uh, in Triple County that we're going to have on here in a couple of weeks as well. So uh, word is getting out uh, that the show is on the air. We had our driver's orientation meeting at the Lacrosse Fairground Speedway just a couple of weeks ago, which really kind of sets the tone for race teams to get it going or forget it for the season. Uh, smokers have been going loud and proud. It was at Harley Jankowski's and it was just fantastic. Even though you can tell the economy has still kind of got some people by the by the wrist holds as um, some of the smokers, folks are having some hard times this year uh, getting a lot of funds raised, so they're going out and trying to get additional sponsorships. Yeah, sponsors is what everybody is trying to get right now. Uh, the smokers, from what I have heard too, are, are down a little bit. Um, it's the economy, definitely. And uh, finding that special sponsor would be uh, just great for every team to find. I know we're looking for them also. And it's the same thing at the NASCAR level and the Nationwide Series level. I mean, not everybody gets to be attached with Coca-Cola or Sprint or, you know, the, the everyday names you see when you go on NASCAR.com or whatever the case may be. You see those names are splashed all over the place. Um, it, it's a totally different story for folks that really don't realize that this level of racing in lacrosse or even Excalibur that's going to open back up this year, um, the sponsorships are there, but they're very far and in between. And you definitely have to have sponsorships because as every driver has been on here and, and any driver you talk to, you have to have a sponsor in order to be able to compete for a win. You can get out there and run your equipment, but you'd rather have the better sponsor so that you can run in case you have a, any motor problems, tire problems, or anything like that. I think this is the, the neat time of the year as well when, when you see people on Facebook or maybe on their websites posted. Not only are they looking for main sponsors for maybe the hood or the, the trunk of the, of the race car, but at the same time, they're looking for gas sponsors only. They're looking for tire sponsors only. Um, it's kind of neat how you can break that down into different packages of uh, would you sponsor me just for my gas this year, my racing fuel? Would you sponsor me just for a tire for the season? And, and the tire sale at the Lacrosse Fairground Speedway uh, is upon us, and that's what a lot of drivers have done is try to find a separate sponsor just for tires. Uh, not just tires, which I want to make sure everybody knows. Uh, this show is as this show is airing, uh, the tire sale is going on out at the Lacrosse Fairground Speedway, and it'll end around seven o'clock. But it's not just tires. Uh, uh, people will look for restaurant sponsors to pay to buy their food for the evening because right. that adds up to a lot of money also to See, feed you, the crew. You look at Joe Reiner. It's, uh, <laughs> Joe Reiner's picked up. Uh, uh, I think it was King Street Kitchen. I'm going to drop a name for him there. <laughs> last year, and uh, he's always one you can go down and say, hey, "What's for, what's for dinner?" But that is, I mean, you can you can get a sponsor to, to pay for your meals afterwards. Uh, maybe some refreshments during or after. You can find a water sponsor, if possible. So there's so many different intricacies there of of uh, not just getting the name on the car for running the car. It's a lot of the things that surround the race team. And also, it's not just. Uh, during the race that you have those expenses. After the races, too, everybody usually likes to go over and have their Lost Lake beer over with Bill Niles. This is true. This and is true. Lost He's Lake always got it down there. <laughs> and again, um, the 16th, uh, 11 to 3 is the tentative time set for Lacrosse Fairground Speedway. That is the uh, open practice and media day. I know we had a pretty good uh, attendance of cars last year. A little bit chilly, but uh, I know a lot of guys this time of the year want to get out there. What's really neat is uh, Excalibur Speedway is going to be opening back up in Toma this year, right off of Highway 21. 
And our guest today that's going to come up here in just a couple of moments uh, actually was the first driver to go out this year on his birthday and turn some laps on that track and was the first one to be on that track in four years. And I got to see some of the video of that. We're going to show you her coming up on the program. And uh, going to be an interesting time in Toma. It, it is. In fact, I was very impressed with uh, how well the track looked. It looked to be in really fantastic shape. I like the snow that was on the uh, down the wall, down the front straight away. <laughs> that kind of gave her the sense that the racing's kind of here, but then there's still snow on the ground, and, and hopefully the temperatures keep getting warmer, and uh, we can get a lot of racing action here. I know uh, uh, Dell's Motor uh, Speedway is going to be kicking up. I think it's the, the 7th and 14th of May they'll have a couple of practice sessions. And um, I'm wanting to say uh, as well, uh, May 13th will be open practice for the Excalibur Speedway. It's ExcaliburSpeedway.com. You get all the information there. They've got the schedule up there. They've got contact information. The race director this year is Greg Oliver. Uh, Drew Krybik um, is doing a lot of the sales and the marketing. Of course, uh, Chuck Deary and Dave Nelke and Jeff Garbers uh, can help you out at LacrosseSpeedway.com if you have any questions about the opener or anything pertaining to racing there. And again, uh, get a hold of Matt Penure at the Wisconsin Dells Raceway Motor Park, and uh, they'll get you set up for those three tracks here in the early goings. When we come back, our latest driver profile. I gave him a nickname about five years ago, the Lacrosse Fairground Speedway, and it has stuck. And I think it will for maybe a couple more years to come from here to Columbus. <laughs> Bad Brad Warfin out of Sparta, Wisconsin, is going to join us when we return on the Seven Rivers Racing Show here in KQEG.